Hello, I'm Wayne Price, and welcome to a brand new video. And this one is, of course, on Jake Paul. And if you guys don't know who Jake Paul is, and I don't know what, what you've been doing, but anyways, we don't know who he is. He was a vinyl before Vine died. R.I.P. Vine. But him and his brother, Logan Paul, came over to YouTube after Vine died. Even though he had a, Jake Paul had a YouTube channel like before it died, but he didn't like upload. But he came over, him and his brother, and their channels blew up because they had all these Vine followers. And I actually would watch um, Logan Paul because his vines were pretty funny, but I would never watch a YouTube channel because I don't think they were that funny and I'm not interested in seeing what they were doing every single day because I don't have the time to watch their videos. Anyways, they came over to YouTube and brought all their followers with them, or a good chunk. And the YouTube algorithm, I guess, kind of favored them because they had so many viewers at all of a sudden on their YouTube channel and they Jake Paul and Logan Paul got way big, but Jake Paul, Jake Paul, not Jake Paul, Jake Paul been in the news a lot recently. First, it was his wonderful uh, Everyday Bro rap song thing that really was probably one of the worst pieces of music I have ever heard. The worst rap I have ever heard all time, I thought. It was one I listened to a while ago, and I thought nothing else could beat it in being the worst. But I was wrong. His everyday bro. Uh, this it ruined it. Uh, it's now number one of the worst pieces of music I ever was. So, everyone picked apart his video, and pretty much all the diss tracks everyone made were way better than his everyday bro. So he started getting attention. So then he started doing I know crazy stuff to get more attention. And the biggest thing now is there's a possibility his neighbors may sue him. Because there was a local news channel made an article or did a video talking about it. So let's just watch and see what he's been doing and why his neighbors might want to sue him. Or you will see only here on five. Chris. That's right. Rick and MB. He is a social media megastar. His name is Jake Paul. We should note he has been a guest on the KTLA five morning show. But tonight we visited his West Hollywood neighborhood because of complaints from neighbors. Complaints. Lots of complaints. OK, continue on. This is a story you will see only on five. Yes, it's only on five, even though it's everywhere on YouTube. Everywhere. You just put J in the search bar and it's Jake Paul. And then the next thing is Jake Paul getting sued or news channel or news video, something like that. It's everywhere. It's no longer only on five. Just to let you know, five channel news team level. <laughs> Social media and internet sensation, Jake Paul thrills his taser. fans with wild stunts. Now, I'm American. I like guns. But I am very concerned with how he's teaching this guy with the gun. I, I don't trust him with a firearm, and I don't trust him training anyone with a firearm. So I'm, pr I, I'm hoping that's an airsoft gun. It looks like an airsoft gun, but there's a possibility it's a wheel gun. And, you know, like I prefer people have, you know, I like guns. I don't think people shouldn't have guns. It was less, um, you know, if they're trained and they know how to use them, good. But I I don't trust people like him because he kind of acts like a 12 year old. So I don't really trust like 12 year olds to train on all people how to use guns. It's not really the thing I suggest you do. So I, I'm very concerned about this. I think we must look into this. Not the gun, but this, um, if, if he even knows how a gun works. So I, I you know, what's, what's this, you know, think about 
his safety and uh, maybe take away guns from just him. Gun. And your left hand off and push. <laughs> the 20 year old Disney actor is a pop culture powerhouse with 8.5 million followers on Instagram and YouTube. He rents a large house in an upscale West Hollywood neighborhood, and this tight knit community has become the new setting for many of his pranks and performances. So, apparently, he has a lot of people out in front of his house because uh, he listed his house as a business team 10. You go Google it and it has the address. So, all these people have been showing up at his neighborhood and I I like people sort of in a way you know I think I you know they keep their distance I, I'll keep my distance but you know same with the neighbors you know they don't bother me I won't bother them and once their house is on file I will tell them your house is on file but I won't go over there for anything else unless I absolutely have to the thing I really dislike is uninvited guests and people just outside your like I hate looking out like the window and seeing people in front of the house in front of the driveway uh, on the road it just it irritates me you know if, if this they uh, I don't know it's, when I see someone walking their dog on the road I I get a little irritated because <laughs> I don't know uh, so just just imagine seeing all these people out in front of your house I would probably lock the door and board up my windows and pretend like I am not home. But Jake Paul, he, he loves it. The neighbors hate me, but I'm still gonna flip and send it. He apparently makes his address no secret, and that piece of information draws an endless stream of fans, mostly young girls, the day we visited, and their parents to the property. I like how he says, and their parents to the property. I, I'm i surprised that, like, they show how many kids, and there's always showing, like, uh, free parents. I wonder what is going through their parents' mind, like... If, if you're taking your kid to go see Jake Paul, you know, like, that, man, like, shouldn't, like, what what are you thinking? It's like, oh, yeah, he's this uh, famous guy on the internet. Never met him before. Yeah, let's just go, go there and see if, let's go to his house and see if he's home and see if you want to get some selfies. I, I have no idea what these parents were thinking. I would never, ever take anyone to go see Jake Paul. And once they paid me a lot of money, then I would. But other than that, never for free. Because it's especially if uh, it's going to cost gas, too, to drive there. And so they have to pay for the gas, and they have to pay for my time, and they have to pay for lunch. So I would never do it unless you give me... Uh, you, you pay for all that stuff. <laughs> so these, these parents, I have no idea what they're thinking. I expect that some of them are pretty bored and not happy. So I think, most likely, their kids beg them constantly. Take me to Jake Paul. Take me. Take me to him. And I would never, oh, I would never ever do my chores again. So they're like, oh, crap. Let's just take him now. He's funny. Savage. <laughs> savage? Yeah. yeah. A recent stunt. In oh, yeah. He's totally savage. You know. Uh, whew, you know, savage. Wow. Savage. This While part is the dumbest tossing furniture part. into an empty pool and setting the pile on fire. Uh, when you... Okay, what's this play out? Um, ...say flames eventually oh, oh, grew higher than the house, good, Kate, and as good. the pit was <laughs> burning and healthy. smoking, they were fuming. We used to be a really nice... Okay, I understand people being completely, you know, stupid. You know, they want attention. They have all their trivial fans outside their house because it's good for a backdrop, you know, with your videos, and you do, like, act like you're really popular, you know, and you use them to, like, get more popular. I understand you being a bit of a nuisance driving your dirt bike up and down the road 
uh, really loud and you know recording videos all the time you know I don't really have a problem with most of that but when you go and toss furniture in an empty pool and light it on fire right next to your house I start to question your um, your mind your head like are, are you mentally stable are you okay you, you need some help because it I, I've written lots of files but that was because I had to get with brush and debris and it was on the job and we did it in the open, not in summer, and not in a pool, and not right next to a house that could possibly catch on fire and burn down the entire neighborhood. No, we are very, very careful because we want to make sure we don't burn that and nothing else. And I, I'm very concerned about what I saw. What kind of person tosses furniture into a empty pool next to the house? And lights on fire, and he used like some kind of fuel. I was surprised that the fuel didn't actually blow up. Um, I seen videos when people like use gasoline and they go light on fire. It's like a big explosion, and they almost kill themselves. I surprised he didn't do that. So that's that's a a plus, but a lot of minuses that you did it in a pool next to your house in summer, which is the worst time to try and be burning anything is in summer. So I am concerned. I am very concerned about Jake Paul. He may, I he he may just burn down his house next, and he, or he may just flood it. And I, you know. Quiet street, and now we're just this like war zone. We're families here, and we're more than happy to have them live here if they're respectful of their neighbors, but they're not. She said it. They they turned it into a war zone, and that's sad. <laughs> But as neighbors living with this every day, we're fed up. Look at him. Shortly after we arrived, look who came out to greet us. Jake. Are we live? Hablamos español también. Oh, está bien. Te amo mucho. I really hate it how he acts like a 12-year-old or a 10-year-old. Like, it's so cringy. And then his buddies act like it, too. Which even more, like, I I I just want it to be done. I don't want to see him ever on the internet again. You know, I like Logan Paul. His bro, he's pretty cool. He doesn't seem like he's he's as um he seems more like a grown up, and Jake Paul seems like a little kid, a little tiny kid. Jake, I wouldn't do that. Look at I wouldn't crawl up there. Why? Okay. I just wouldn't do that. A lot of the neighbors are complaining. They're very upset. No, why? Why? They say that you've created a living hell out here. You know what I don't get is why on earth would you want to climb up on the news van? I see new vans, like news channel vans, drive up and down the road. I've seen them before. I never ever thought in my mind, I just want to climb up on top of that. I want to see what the roof looks like. And these two guys in the back <laughs> were just looking at it like they never seen one before and it's like from outer space and they must figure out what it is. Uh, it's like a circus. Yeah, it is. All the fans. I mean, but people stunts, like going to the... circuses, right? What do you say to the neighbors though that are upset? Yeah, they like going well, to this. They like going to the circuses. But, you know, no one wants to live at a circus. You know, they don't want to... You know, they'll go there, you know, see you at circus, you know. And then they go home and then they're done with the circus. They don't want the circus 24-7, okay? You know. Really upset. No, I, I honestly... You can't beat them, join them. No, I'm honestly, yeah, it's terrible. It's a bad situation. No, I feel bad for them, yeah. for sure. Uh, there's nothing we can do, though. The Jake Paulers are the strongest army out there. Dab, they're dab. Dabbing, so cringy. Another thing is, the Jake Pauls are the strongest army. <laughs> what are you talking about? I can picture, I, I know of a lot of know, stronger armies, and most of them are military, you know, from other countries, in our country, the U.S., pretty much every single country, their, their military, their army, is probably stronger than the Jake Paul army, because all of them are little kids. Bunch of 12-year-olds. Yeah. I have one question for you. Yeah? What are those? <laughs> You know, 
I thought I, I I honestly thought it couldn't get any more cringy or but when he said what are those and then him and all his team oh uh, that was probably the most cringiest thing ever I guess he didn't like my shoes but I don't think they're so bad Neighbors I spoke with tell me next week they're going to have a special meeting with city leaders and police and code enforcement officials and so forth. Depending on what happens there, they will decide whether to file a class action public nuisance lawsuit against Jake Paul and the homeowner. We'll keep you posted. Live in West Hollywood, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. All right. So that was the video. And I just want to say I sure hope they go with the lawsuit and they, they they send it to him i really hope they do that because he is so cringy it is unbelievable and he is he's a this a asshole kind of guy like you you want to respect your neighbors like me personally you know like i may not like my neighbors i may you know not want to see them but you know like they own they're, they're, they're your neighbors. They're living there. You gotta, you know, respect them. You gotta respect them. So what, what's going through your mind? Like, yeah, this is so uh, really cringy and terrible and really sad also. Jake Paul started retweeting some of his fans defending him. And oh my God, prepare for cringe. The first retweet from a fan said, there is 8.5 million people who would do anything to live next to the Team 10 house. The second retweet said, he ain't gonna listen to nobody. He's gonna flip and send it, dude. What? And then the third retweet, and by far the most cringiest, I mean, this shit's already being memed on Twitter. He retweeted a Jake Pauler who said this, we are savages, we are always lit, we are powerful. We prank people. We love Team 10. We love Bizark. We love Jake Paulers. <laughs> and in the video, he claimed that his neighbors were actually the ones that were, were our bad neighbors. This is what he had to say. Roll it. Yeah, uh, as you saw in yesterday's vlog, our neighbors hate us. As you know before, they've tried to send us like a legal letter to get us to stop filming the vlogs, which they cannot do. They say that we're like these terrible people and we are a menace like to the whole entire neighborhood, blah, 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 blah. And the truth of the matter is that they are just as bad as us. There are multiple times and situations where they are just absolutely absurd. They call the cops on us. On a day-to-day -day basis for no reason. They call parking enforcement over to give us tickets. I think last week we had over a thousand dollars in tickets for parking our cars in the street in front of our own house. They cuss at the Jake Paulers, like little 12 year old, 13, 14 year old, you guys, they cuss at you guys, telling you to go home, telling you guys that you are idiots. They're trying to stop the Jake Paulers. They cannot do. And then apparently he filmed one of the neighbors telling the Jake Paul fans out in front of his house to go suck dicks or something. I don't fuck, here's the clip. Some nights when I'm trying to go to sleep, some of the neighbors come over drunk and start cussing at us, telling us that they wanna fight us, throwing beer and stuff onto, again, kids. And we have the footage, check it out. Oh, bro, home is only two seconds that way. And you can still hear me from home. Y'all bunch of little girls, y'all his bitches. But we're all just gonna stand here and watch me now. I got nothing left to say. Rob's gonna stand here and watch you. Just like everybody else. The one dude who anybody cares about is in his room, and he thinks you can all go suck dicks right now. Is he out Now, my first question is, how do you even know that that's a neighbor? I mean, Jake Paul is notorious for faking shit. He easily could have had someone there to say that shit, film them, and leak it to make it seem like he's not the bad guy. I want receipts. I want proof that that's actually a neighbor and not a fucking actor. In related news, uh, Jake Paul has a Team 10 bus like uh, that he carries the people around in. And this website, The Hollywood Fix, filmed Jake Paul driving away with the door open. And I'm not sure if this is what caused the accident, but allegedly, the Team 10 bus got in an accident last night. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at the axle. It's fucked up. Yeah. All right, so 
the whole thing about the Nabel thing, that was, we were like, I, I kind of agree with Keemstar with the, you know, he could have easily faked that the teen tent bus that you see crashing, breaking, that's like, what? But anyways, this video, I can't tell if it's real or fake. It looks fake, but there's a possibility it is real. I have not watched this thing. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a Jake uh, Ball. All the way. I just Jake got Ball. to about... Hi, Jake. I'm going to need you to come down to the station and answer a few questions. Uh, we've had a lot of complaints from the neighbors. Can you step outside real quick, please? So you... The thing I don't get is why it sounds like his audio pitch keeps changing. It's how he's like really deep, like way really low, you know, like talking like, whoa. And then it's like, we had. I, I don't get that. It's unless it's just the uh, different uh, microphones or something messing with audio. It sounds really weird. So that's why I, I'm questioning this uh, this video. Having complaints from the neighbors? Yes, we've had a handful of complaints from the neighbors about serving the peace, uh, violence, uh, vandalism. I'm going to need you to come down to the station and answer some questions. Can you please step outside. Sir, can you please step yes, outside? Yes. I'm going to take your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back, sir. Come with me, sir. What? Come with me, sir. If you didn't do anything wrong, you don't have anything to worry about, okay? Stay right here. I got the, I got the scar. Stay right here. Right here. Do you have anything on you? Anything illegal? Any weapons? No, no. No? No. All right, let's go. Come on. Watch your head. Uh, yo, what's the calm the Watch your head. Ow, ow. Inside. Get inside. Sir, can you please be quiet? All right, so that video, um, this is like, I've been seeing just a lot of it. Like, uh, getting arrested, you know, getting arrested, you know, the same thing over and over and over. Well, at least a couple times, four times. We just put up Jake Paul, or, you know, sort it. And actually what? So I have no idea if that's real or not. I have not seen any of the people I watch that talk about news and stuff talk about it. So I have no idea. So I'm just have to wait and see if it is real. Wow. He, it, his whole thing is, is absolutely crazy. What is going to happen next? That what I am wondering what will happen next. But if it's fake, uh, they did a pretty good job faking it. And a lot of people using it as good YouTube thumbnails and titles for their videos, which I will too. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the Jake Paul situation and what you think he's going to do next to get in the news. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Until the next video, bye. Jake Paul might be facing one year in jail. Now, as most of you already know, Jake Paul lives in LA and in California, they have eavesdropping laws, meaning that you cannot record somebody without their permission. Well, in yesterday's vlog from Jake Paul, he said that he went and apologized to the neighbors. And when he went to apologize, he recorded it. I appreciate it, I do, I do. And like, I, do, I don't hate you guys. I'm not one of the neighbors that like absolutely hates you. Yeah, I know, it's, it's really tough because and apparently the neighbors had no idea that they were being recorded and they were going to be in one of Jake Paul's videos. Now the original reporter, Chris Wolfie, that broke this story that Jake Paul was being a nuisance to neighbors. Today, he tweeted out this. Neighbor files an eavesdropping complaint against Jake Paul says Jake Paul secretly recorded conversation during the apology. And this just ain't an allegation. I mean, we literally have video proof because Jake Paul himself record it and upload it his crime to his youtube channel now if jake paul is found guilty we want to know exactly what he's looking at and this is what we found if the prosecutor decides to charge the crime of eavesdropping as a misdemeanor then the maximum penalties are a fine up to two thousand five hundred dollars up to one year in county jail or both but this could even get worse if the prosecutor decides to charge jake paul as a felony then the eavesdropping is punishable by up to 16 months two years 
or three years in state prison. God damn, Jake Paul. About tossing furniture into an empty pool and setting the pile on fire. Let's go. Come on. Watch your head. Watch your head. Inside. Get inside.